In today's video lecture of CAD CAM, we would like to see the difference between CAD CAM, what actually CAD is all about and what is CAM. We'll discuss or we'll try to brief them all. CAD CAM. Students get confused like why we use CAD system, what actually, how does it affect the society or how does it affect the production, how does it affect the manufacturing process or in an industry, how, what is the role of CAD, what is the role of CAM. After going through a number of lectures or going through a number of textbooks also, they are unable to get the content out of it. So my main intention is to make the students understand what exactly CAD is all about. Fine. Now if you take only CAD system, CAD stands for Computer Aided Designing. CAD stands for Computer Aided Designing. Okay. Aided means here whatever we are going to draw, whatever like for example a 2D sketch or if you want to transform that into a 3D model, whatever we are going to draw, we are going to draw with the aid of computers, with the aid of computers. We are using computer, the mode to draw so and so sketch. Okay. Here one more thing, one more important thing to be noted is we are going to use different types of softwares when it comes to computer aided designing. For example, the basic software we are going to use here is AutoCAD, the basic tool what you call. AutoCAD is actually a dra drafting tool where you can avoid the traditional way of drawing by using this particular AutoCAD. Traditional way means we are trying to uh, use a drawing sheet followed by a drafter and all the drawing instruments. The person who is going to draw called as a draftsman. Same work can be performed by using AutoCAD, okay, where you can avoid the drafter, drawing table, drawing sheet and all the drawing instruments. Only a simple software will help you to draw all your layouts or whatever the sketch you want to make on the sheet of paper okay that can be done using a software and the same can be taken as a hard copy with the help of printers okay now here if you talk about AutoCAD is all about drafting okay any sketch can be drawn any layout can be drawn okay this is used in general if you talk about mechanicals mechanical students or mechanical field most of the mechanical related industries they use AutoCAD okay and other next is civil in the construction area to draw the layout of a building to show the proposal to the municipality for an approval civil people will also use in constructions of a building of a dam okay any other construction they'll use it in general okay other than these two broadly the, these two people like mechanicals and civils they use AutoCAD software okay other than this the same software can be used in electronics and electricals and many other fields also okay but mostly the percent uh, is bit higher when it comes to electronics and electronic engineering mechanicals and civils okay these mechanical people they'll try to use it uh, to design to draft what you call uh, machine components to draft machine components okay and civil in construction okay and today we'll try to limit our discussion to mechanical engineering we'll limit our discussion till here okay how does it help it is a technology base okay CAD what is CAD, CAD is a completely technology base what you call technology base for the computer integrated factory okay technology base for computer integrated factory okay so if you want to draw anything if you want to make a layout or if you want to transform that into a 3d model everything is possible in this particular software okay for whatever the future upcoming future technology will keep on improve or keep on increase it all depends on the advancement of the technology okay computer aided designing can be defined as use of computer system to assist okay now this computer system will help you to assist in creation means it all depends on every individual person it's his per perception okay now for example creative mind will help you to get new thoughts will help you to get new things in the society 
okay it all depends whether you belong to an automobile industry or an aerospace industry or maybe you belong to some garment industry or a factory okay now autocad is used in every industry irrespective of its you know it doesn't it just not belongs to mechanicals or civils it has been using from past many years in many other industries okay creative mindset is more important with this you will get a thought you will get a thought to make something new in the society okay maybe it all depends on automobile or whether it is an aerospace industry or some other x industry okay so creation is one and one more if i talk about is modification now here the if you talk about modification is all about already existing component if something is existing already if you want to make some changes to improve its efficiency or to improve the aesthetic appearance of the model that can be done okay appearance okay or else to improve efficiency or else any other thing if you just with the help of modification if you can do the cost cutting also it will also help uh, productivity okay so many other modifications other than this cad also help you in an analyzing okay analysis can also be done analyzing or you can call it as op optimizing of a model or any other creation okay now if you talk about an analyzing is all about if you talk about the mechanical point of view analyzing is all about once you have model you have created a component that need to be analyzed for whether the same component is worthful or not will it take the loading conditions required for so and so environment or not that has to be decided before manufacturing okay we are talking about cad system we are talking about cad system we are not into manufacturing we are into designing where you can make conceptual drawings you can transform that to your 3d model then you need to analyze the model here itself okay analysis can be done for example st structural analysis okay or thermal analysis or fluent it all depends all these belongs to mechanicals okay fine for example i have created a component i have developed a component i have developed a hexagonal nut and a bolt i need to check whether it will take that much torque or not that much force or not before manufacturing only i'll try to analyze by doing some structural analysis by applying some constraints boundary conditions then followed by the loading conditions then i could analyze myself that yes fine so and so x component is feasible so to so and so environment once it is done then i'll go for manufacturing okay without doing an anal analysis part if you go for manufacturing there will be a wastage of many things like for example if you talk about there is there will be a wastage of material time money manpower many other things okay for so and so purpose you you may procure machinery you may procure tools okay you may procure many other required new invented tools okay or a material different types of materials okay so once without analysis if you try to go for production if you try to go for production there will be a wastage of these many things okay time is a very big important thing in case of productivity okay and fixtures jigs and fixtures also you try to purchase from the vendor so all these are wasteful job if you don't plan your things properly okay before going for manufacturing before now i'll talk about manufacturing computer aided manufacturing okay the full form is computer aided manufacturing okay computer aided manufacturing where will reach to this computer aided manufacturing once you finish the cad system where in cad system will do the creative mind will try to develop a component then will try to modify if some changes are required then will try to analyze and optimize the design or the steps required in manufacturing then we'll go on to manufacturing process okay which is most important thing to be done without doing all the stuff if you reach the manufacturing or a production process it is again a wasteful job okay now this cad software if you talk about software or a hardware now 
for example if you talk about the software other than autocad other than this particular autocad you find many other softwares in the market like solidworks okay unigraphix and catia creo likewise you have many other softwares available in the market okay so by using any of the softwares model can be created but why we are using these many number of softwares when the same model can be created in any of the softwares so it all depends on the flexibility so it all depends on the user friendliness of so and so x softwares and it also depends on the industry which they are using it whether it is a small scale industry or a large scale industry okay if you consider uni graphics it costs more if you consider the commercial uni graphics software the cost is very much higher okay if you consider again catia the or a creo the cost is very much higher okay it all depends and but if you try to purchase this if you want to work over it it is very much user friendly and very much helpful to create your model or optimize your model it will help you in many cases the accuracy will be more and there is a proper precision of so and so component created and documentation will be at high end okay this is all very more many more advantages are there by using this particular softwares fine so etc there are many other available in the market okay now the syllabus talk about mostly the syllabus talk about 80 to 90% it is all about autocad which is a drafting tool which has been introduced long back decades back which uh, talk about complete thing i mean it talk about the entities line circle spline point a simple rectangle all these things okay so mostly this autocad talk about wireframe modeling okay so other software are also existing in the market can be used okay once you done with your thing uh, if you talk about cad hardware also typically includes computer simply okay if you talk about cad hardware this includes as you all very much familiar with a computer this includes a computer a keyboard a display terminal okay a keyboard i'm not going into much deeper two or more one or more display terminals graphic terminals maybe graphic terminals to have a very good visual effect okay now cad is what again if you conclude cad is a designing tool cad is what used for a purpose called designing and drafting okay you can do synthesize the model you can analyze the model you can do document the model also whatever the tasks you have performed can be documented for the further process of cam okay you can do process planning also in case of cam system that can be done by using this particular documentation which is very much important again okay these are all the things required cad software again if you talk about only cad software uh, consists of computer programs to implement computer graphics of system okay plus application programs of uh, uh, you know facilitating the engineering functions of okay these are all possible with this particular software now if you talk about cam system which is computer aided manufacturing if you talk about the manufacturing here again without much involvement of a human you can do things with the help of software okay there are cam softwares available in the market which will help you to manufacture which will help you to write a program based on gnm codes okay to manufacture so and so x component computer aided manufacturing okay in a similar fashion you have computer aided engineering okay model generated cad cam if you talk about uh, only cad system you can create prototypes you can create a finished models also prototypes can also be prepared you can have a visual effect before manufacturing your component uh, with the help of 3d printing with the help of 3d printing you can visualize a 3d model how it is going to be after manufacturing in the initial level only before manufacturing which will help you to have a visual effect of a component and if some changes are required that can be done by using again a cad model or programming can be changed to reach your destiny then once it is done once everything is okay then you can go for manufacturing okay that is possible and uh, to have a tool path to see the tool path whether a program written is right or wrong to have a proper judgment you have many other softwares available in the market the basic one if you talk about is uh, you have a software called edge cam edge cam which will help you to show the tool path and if everything is everything goes wrong you can take that same program to the machine for manufacturing okay manufacturing a model and you have one more software called simco 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 
and this is also help you to write a program and to see the tool path before going on to the machine okay with the aid of these two computer aided designing and manufacturing we can increase the productivity we can increase number one is if you talk about we can improve or increase productivity okay we can reduce the time okay we can reduce manpower and we can increase accuracy so all these things can be done other than this with there are a lot, lot more things that can be done by using these two systems which will which is very much helpful in the upcoming lectures uh, we'll have a discussion of all those other than this CAD and CAM we are going to discuss in the upcoming lecture uh, it is all about product life cycle okay in it is this is just a general discussion of CAD and CAM system if you take a part if you consider a simple part how the product cycle is going to be that is going to be our next next discussion if you have any queries or anything to ask you can comment on the box given below thank you for now